All I do is collect my rewards and leave the app. I've been playing Raid for a few years. I'm off and on the game all the time. Now I have 30k plus energy from just logging in and leaving. Look at this, guys. He's got 34k energy. 1.83 million, which makes sense because if you're just collecting things, you're not doing any dungeon farming. You're not going to have that much silver. 241 gems. Makes sense. But yeah, this is... This is pretty interesting, I think. Uh, we, we don't talk about this too much. We don't really see too much of this. But yeah, this is this is definitely something that I have thought about doing myself a few times. Because, and I, I've done it before in the past, right, with with certain um, alt accounts. But on my main account, I really can't do that because I make content with it. And um, but yeah, the the whole premise is this, right? And the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about this was to give you insight on what I think you should do if ever you feel like quitting raid or you feel like it's too much. So, I've always said this before. If you ever feel like you're about to burn out, it's important that you take breaks. And one of the ways that you can take breaks, aside from just straight out deleting the game, if you don't want to delete, if you don't want to delete the game, is to just do what this guy is doing. Just log in, do your clan boss, collect your rewards, and then dip, and then go do something else for the rest of the day. You don't always have to be on raid. Raid is particularly good at keeping you inside of the game with the rewards that they give on timers, like you have to be in the game for like two hours to get that last set of arena tokens. Or uh, if you're on PC, it's like another hour and a half if you want to get those quote unquote free Polarium points. The point is, there is a lot in this game to do. And if you're a completionist or if you're a, a task to-do list type of person like myself like anytime i see anytime i see uh this is my wife's account by the way anytime I mean, anytime i see dots i always have to click all the dots and i'm the type of guy that will do this entire checklist and if you do this even on just one account it's a lot it's hours worth of work especially if you're doing all of your live arena if you're using all your live arena tokens your faction wars doing hydra that takes up time. Doom Tower, Cursed City. You want to use all your keys here. There's like so much to do. It's basically a full-time job. And then you got to do Siege. Well, I mean, you don't, it takes like five minutes, honestly. But, um, you know, faction, did I say Faction Wars? You want to use up all your energy. If you're the type of guy who uses every single set of, uh, every single piece of, or point of energy, whenever it comes around, then you're going to be on raid all the time. And so this leads a lot of people yeah, and then Live Arena is another thing that takes a while too. This leads a lot of people to feeling burnout, like, oh, there's just so much to do in the game. And I feel like I never have time for anything else. And this is something that I've felt and I've talked to a lot of people. A lot of you guys feel this way too. So my recommendation for you is you don't have to be on the game every single day, doing your dailies every single day for the entire month, because that's part of Polarium's plan to keep you in the game for as long as possible because money. So take this into perspective maybe consider doing this if you're a casual player who just wants to enjoy the game but you feel pulled and compelled to keep coming back to the game do this i don't know if any of you guys remember soda dragon gaming he was another fellow asian content creator um but he doesn't do any any raid content anymore but i really liked his content i really liked um just his vibe and everything and he did a video talking about this he was saying like hey if you want to play raid for five seconds, you can play Raid for five seconds. If you want to play it for five minutes, it's up to you. It is in your hands. You can make the decision to pick up the game and put it down whenever you want. Polarium does not control you. They are really good at enticing you to do what they want you to do. But at the end of the day, it's, it's all you, bro. It's all you. Shouldn't there be more gems? Well, I just use the accumulated energy from idling and other sources like the clan store and the arena shop. Other than that, it just keeps piling for me. Uh, okay. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I've been trying to save for Thor. I have 3,500 gems, 26k energy. That's a lot of energy. I think you're good on energy. And about 100 shards, but I'll probably still need to buy a few sacreds. 100 shards? Like green shards? Or blue shards? Probably blues. If you have 100 sacreds, then I think you're you're more than set. Isn't that overkill for a fusion? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've been playing for six months, haven't gotten a fusion yet, so I was kind of just stacking everything. I know the shards are the hardest thing to get for a fusion. I figured I'd have some extra energy. I need to farm spider for more silver, but I'm definitely still new. You're definitely fine for energy. You should be able to... Okay, so this is talking about 
Um, the fusion, we're not gonna bother with that. Can I ask why? What did you get? What do you get from logging in, collecting daily rewards, and then logging out? Do you play any aspect of the game? I'm genuinely curious. This is a good question, right? The other counter argument is, well, what's the point? What's the point of doing this? Why log in and then just log right back out? I mean, again, circling back, it's to help for burnout. If you don't want to play the game all the time and you're feeling like you're burning out, this is a great way to still have the option to play the game, to still be able to log in and collect fusions or free champions, not fusions, free champions anytime they're around, right? That way you can still kind of keep a pulse on, on what's going on and you can kind of see what's going on, but you don't actually have to participate. But when the moment arises, you'll be there. So for an example, uh, a lot of people always tell me like, oh, I, I, I missed the ninja fusion because I took a break or I, I missed, not, uh, not the fusion, I missed the free login for Adeline and now, I, or I guess Adeline is not a good example, or Rathalos or Loki, or not Loki, but imagine if you decided to take a break and you're, or if you're that guy right now taking a break and you, you just don't know that Loki is being given out for free, then you might regret that later on in the future you might i'm not saying you will because you know you take it as it is there's always going to be newer champions that they give away but i mean this is an example right you have that option you keep that door open should you decide hey i want to step through that door and pick up the game again and really get into it so there's nothing wrong with doing this right because it takes like if you're doing clan boss especially with quick battles nowadays it just takes like yeah, five minutes, basically, to collect everything. You don't even have to collect the entire, um, what do you call it, daily rewards that they give for just staying logged in. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. I'm not the OP, but I do this as well. Uh, OP is original poster. I'm very much on and off with the game, so in the event I randomly feel like, oh, I'm going to play this game again for a few months, then I'm going to have a ton of resources to come back to, plus collecting everything takes like one to two minutes is quick. Exactly. I've been exclusively playing Marvel Snap instead of other mobile games before I started Raid, and now I'm at that point with Snap. I log in to get my daily rewards, maybe do my daily missions, and then log out. Never know when the bug to play again will bite. Gotta have those resources. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with this. OP is level 39. He's never played the game. It's bizarre. I mean, shit, son. Maybe. Referral account, that would be even more pointless as the point to simp the points to simply hit 40 or 50 by and you don't and you do that by spending your energy. You aren't on and off if you're logging in daily. Please learn what words mean. I, I guess that's one way of looking at it. I get fed up with the game. I hit a wall every so often, playing 10 dungeon runs a day. It feels so tedious. Exactly. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is this video is here for you. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes I take a step back, stockpile a couple thousand energies and gem, energy and gems, and see what leap I can make before deciding if it's time to get back into the game. Based on energy cap, which isn't maxed after quote unquote playing for a few years, it's clear he doesn't play the game. I do this also, uh, I do this, but also autocomplete clan boss, so I have a ton of shards and books if you ever feel like getting back into it. I'm collecting shards. It feels more fun keeping them than summoning. Yeah. This is really nice. It's beautiful. Uh, a while ago, I was saving up all my shards. I wasn't pulling anything. And, and people were like, how do you have so much, I guess, discipline? And I'm like, well, one, one of the things is sometimes, even now, even now, sometimes if I feel like I'm too busy or I'm working on any of my other YouTube channels, I log into Raid. I just collect my stuff. Sometimes I don't even do my dailies. That's, that's the point that I'm at right now. I'm the opposite. I can't collect anything. It's not really useful. I keep a bunch of shards. Okay, so uh, learn to let go. That's another thing. You could just quit the game but then again you know i mean everybody's got a different perspective everybody's got different wants so you, you know what i mean don't let anybody tell you how to play the game because at the end of the day it's you it's your account and you're gonna play it the way that you're gonna want to like that's that's how it should be crisscross applesauce i remember this name from a from an efficiency standpoint it's wasted energy but people need to remember not everybody plays the game the same way that's what i'm saying bro see i could vibe with this guy playing the game efficiently means it becomes a chore to many exactly this means the game can either become unfun or can become an unhealthy addiction which it is for me I have an end game account, a mid game account. Mid game, I do my dailies, participate in worthwhile fusions, but depending on what's going on at the time, I may use my energy efficiently or I may stockpile it for a few weeks, wait for a fusion. And again, this is a great way to, um, if you're if you're a free to play, early, mid game, maybe even late game player, 
Like, this is an awesome way to just save for fusions. You basically just log in, collect your rewards, stack energy, and then blow it all out. Just come do a complete blowout. Like imagine if you were doing this, you don't have to worry about energy, maybe you don't have to worry about shards, and you can just blow your entire load on Thor. I can hardly breathe when he's pumping deep inside.